Okay, so and you'd review your quantities and then we go to plan cost. Okay, so you know, as I said, we've got reference uh, references we can look into and go and find a slab that we've done elsewhere. Um, all our historical data and data mine. I'm not going to do this in this example. I'm just going to create everything manually uh, so it, it's easy to follow. Um, so first, I'm just going to create a new component. And then I'm going to add some activities to this of how, how it's going to be constructed. Uh, some form of rebar and concrete. And then to them I'm just going to add some uh, resources as well. So I'm now starting to build up uh, an assembly, uh, just obviously very simple, and then once I've done that, I'll go through and add the quantities that I'm going to use um, that we've got from the, uh, the algorithms around. And some more labor on that one. Okay, so I've got uh, some basics there. I'll put some units in. Um, so for the complete slab assembly, uh, I'm just going to represent that. So I'm going to roll up everything so I can just view it um, by square foot. And then formwork will be square foot. And then the formwork carpenter, he's going to be measured in hours. And the rebar will be in ton, tons. And the concrete in cubes. Okay, so I've got the basic setup there. Now I'm going to all allocate some quantities. So as I said, for the um, actual top level assembly for the actual slab itself, I'm just going to use the, uh, the top surface area. And then for the formwork, I'm going to use the edge surface area. So this list here, um, it's just the same list as we've just seen in Takeoff Manager. And if I wanted to, I could use some uh, Excel type functionality on here and uh, make a complete long formula. Uh, I'm just going to use this uh, the base data in this example. And then formwork materials, formwork carpenter. So now I've got the quantity of the edge surface area. Now I'm going to add a consumption for the carpenter. This is in hours per square foot of its uh, parent. So I'm just going to say that that's a quarter of an hour. With the rebar, I'm going to use um, the volume of the concrete of the slab. And then I'm going to say, uh, that there are 0.1 tons per cube. So my resource level now, and I've got the actual um, tonnage that I need. My uh, rebar material, I can add waste or etc. to that, or a consumption, but um, it's one ton per ton. And then the actual rod man, 
I don't know, I've put 15 hours in here for Tom, which gives me a total number of hours. Uh, concrete, I just use the net volume again, so I'm just going to copy that from that item. So in the formula editor, put that in there. Okay, and I'll say it's an hour per meter cube, so that one's all okay. So basically, uh, albeit very simple, there's the estimate done. 